So here we are in the holidays. We're also still in a pandemic, but many people are celebrating with their families for the first time since the pandemic began. That's why our nine health expert, Dr. Paul Coley is with us today. And we're once again talking about people traveling for the holidays. So what is the best way that people should use testing to prepare for the holidays? Is it before you get on the plane? Is it after you land? Testing should be such an important part of our holidays this year, Tom. I'm traveling next week and I packed a bunch of the rapid test kits. And the best way to use them, in my opinion, is to test before you get on that plane. So right. you want to know for sure whether you're positive before you're getting on the plane. And then after you land, you want to give it about a three to five day window and then test again because you just had exposures at the airport on the plane and during your travel. I think a lot of people take tests and expect to come up negative. But what if you have no symptoms? You take the test and you test positive. How does that change everything you have to do then? Well, so it changes everything for certain. If you, if you haven't traveled, obviously you can't travel mm -hmm. if you test positive, even if it's a false positive. So then you can get a second test with a PCR test to confirm whether it's true or false. But if you've traveled and you're with family, you want to be really careful to start to isolate yourself, especially from people that might not be vaccinated, such as young children. Is isolated really 100% isolation as best you can do? It really is, especially with this now more transmissible variant called the Omicron variant, which is 3% of our cases. You want to make sure that you are no contact. They're leaving the food outside the door. If they do have to come in, of course, both of you are masked. You want to wash everything down um, before you let anyone else touch it. And if you're traveling and you test positive, you're going to stay where you are in all likelihood. You are on the road until you are testing negative. That's right. So you are going to stay in a hotel room. You're going to call your doctor and ask them if you qualify for antibodies or um, the antiviral therapy, some of the antiviral therapies that are out there. You want to do that early in the course of the illness because after the clock takes on, you may not qualify for those therapies. And then you want to stay isolated wherever you are until you test negative. So don't go off your symptoms, you have to test negative. So say you are good at this, you're disciplined, you're doing all the right things, but you find yourself at something in the holidays where you think that there may be unvaccinated or possibly positive people around, how do you manage that? Yeah, that's a tough situation, especially holiday parties, gatherings and get togethers. And I would say in those situations, the biggest strategy in the acute setting is the mask. So you want to make sure that keep that mask up if you're going into a gathering where you don't know people's vaccination status. After the gathering, you want to do that damage control. Again, rely on that testing at least three to five days later to see if you might have been exposed. Now, keep in mind with Omicron, we don't actually know if that three to five days is the right number. It might be longer right. and it might be shorter. So when you talk about testing, those, those rapid tests, you find them reliable enough and they'll give you a result in 15 minutes or so, right? Yeah, another great question. So the rapid tests we hope are working as well um, for Omicron as they were for the Delta. We think they probably are. Again, the best type of test out there, of course, is that PCR test that takes a little longer. There are now companies that are doing rapid PCR tests as well. So that's really the best of both worlds. Well, hopefully it's a happy holiday and a safe holiday for everyone. And then there's some advice that uh, hopefully makes people make smart decisions to get them through the holidays. Dr. Paul Coley, it's always good to see you. Thanks again. Thanks, Tom.